Which statement about the function is false? Ooh, I want a false statement. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Y is a quadratic function. The x's go up by ones every single time, so that's equal length input value intervals. All right, so I don't have to worry too much about that. I have to first find out if it's quadratic, see if it's linear. So in order to find out if it's linear, let's see if these go up or down by the same number every time. So to get from 6 to 0, you subtract 6, then subtract 4. So it's not linear because those numbers changed already. Minus 2, uh, do nothing, add 2, add 4, and add 6. So it's definitely not linear. Now, it looks pretty quadratic to me because you go like this with the linear numbers to see if it's quadratic. You're finding the average rate of change of the rates of change. So you add 2, 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 you add 2. This is quadratic. This is a true statement. But I want the false one, so I don't want A. Okay? Bada bing. The average rate of change on the interval negative 2 to 2 is 1. So average rate of change formula is found by doing f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So a and b are going to be the intervals. So you would be my a and b. So if you're going to be my a and you're going to be my b, then you would basically be my f of a and you would basically be my f of b. So in this case, we've got f of b, which is negative 4, minus f of a, which is nerfin, over b, which is 2, minus negative uh, 2, and negative 4 over regular 4 is negative 1. So we were supposed to get 1. We got negative 1. This is the lie. This is the lie. Now let's make sure that the other guys are good. Okay. Uh, to, in order to find if something is concave up, what you do is you find out where the rate of change or if the rate of change is increasing. In other words, if I were to look at the rate of change, all right, I'm looking at my linear values and my linear values are increasing. I'm going from negative six to negative four to negative two to zero to two to four to six. Those numbers are increasing. Okay, so this is concave up. This was a true statement, which means we didn't want u. And last but not least, let's make sure d is a, is a true statement. The zeros are at negative 2 and 3, which means if I were to plug in negative 2, do I get 0? Yep. And if I were to plug in 3, do I get 0? Yep. So the zeros are at uh, negative 2 and 3. You were true, which means I didn't want u. And b was definitely the guy that I needed.